question four. So Lars, Lars wants to send a package to Germany. He looks at the pricing charts for three different companies. Um, this is his parcel, measuring 20 by 30 by 10. And it wants you to find the cost of sending the parcel for each of the three different companies, giving your answers in pounds. So the first one is to do parcel max. So it's the sum of the three dimensions in centimetres times by 60p. Now sum means just to add them. So you're going to add the three dimensions together. So I've got 20 plus 30 plus 10, which is 60 centimetres. Okay, and I'm going to times that. So it's 60 times 0 0.6, which is 36 pounds. Okay, part two, you're going to do direct go. So direct go is the volume times by 0 0.01, okay, so 1p. So the volume is 20 times 30 times 10. So 2 times 3 is 6 times one is still six and then I can add on my three zeros so centimeters cubed I'm then going to times that by 0 0.01 okay so these two zeros basically cancel two zeros out here it's a very little trick so it's going to cost me 60 pound next part is to do pack to save so it says on there the total area of all six faces and then you're going to times it by 2p. So we have to work out each face separately. You've got two 30 by 20s, you've got two 10 by 20s and you've got two 30 by 10s. Okay, so I've got a 30 times 20, I've got a 10 times 20 and a 10 times 30. So this is uh, 600, this is 200, and this is 300. So I've got double the amount of them. So in total, we've got 6, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 22. So it's 2,200 centimetres squared. We're going to times that, so we've got 2,200 times by 0 0.02. Again, those zeros can make those disappear. So it's 22 times 2, which is £44. The last part now is, what is the percentage saving that Laza will make by choosing the cheapest option rather than the most expensive. Now, the most expensive is Direct Go because that was 60, and the cheapest was Parcel Max at 36. So basically, you do the difference between them divided by the most expensive, okay, and then you turn it into a percentage times by 100. Uh, 60 take away 36, 24 over 60 times 100. Now, how many sixes are in 24? Well, there are four. So this is 0 0.4, and you can times by 100, so it's 40%.